Hello. Right, we're finally on the move in Holland. <laughs> we had real problems in Harwich. Paperwork was all screwed up. So we couldn't get on the boat straight away, but we managed to sort that. We had problems with the customs in Holland, in the Hook of Holland. We managed to sort that. We started at 6 o'clock this morning, it's now gone 6 in the evening. And we're just leaving the Hook of Holland with about a thousand miles ahead of us. So uh, we'll be in touch with more updates. Bye! Morning everybody. This is Michael. My co-driver. The first morning on the way to uh, Poland. We're about, job of the day. we're about 100 miles from Berlin. 500 miles from Warsaw. Uh, this is actually our first road trip together for 41 years. Where did we go 41 years ago? Italy or Spain. I think it sure. might have been Madrid. Madrid. Yeah, a load of live pigs. Anyway, we decided to bring the Iveco. She's a bit elderly. I sold it four weeks ago to a guy who kind of lent it back to me for the trip. Seems to be running all right. Michael's just made a nice cup of tea. In Scania cups, of course. <laughs> right, <laughs> we'll be in touch. Well, welcome to Poland. Certainly a nice day here. Seems like a nice place. Is that a little beauty? I can't say the same about him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we got uh, about 500 kilometres to do to Warsaw, and then we see what happens when we get there. Whether we tip there or go further to the border, which I'd like to do, but we'll see what their priorities are when we get there. Morning, everybody. We're about 100 miles from Warsaw in Poland. It's, uh, what's the time? 7.30? Yeah. 7.30 in the morning. Beautiful day. Just look at that. Sun shining. Nice tree line there. Not cloud in the sky. Anyone would think that all was well with the world. But it ain't. And we're going to be at our destination, which is apparently in Warsaw, uh, in a couple of hours or so. So we're just going to have our second cup of tea wash and brush up and we'll be on our way. Both slept in there again last night, which is pretty difficult. Hardest part is getting out for a leak. <laughs> anyway, we managed. We'll see you later. Well, here we are. There's some what looks like a bomb site between Warsaw and the, on the eastbound road to Ukraine. We've been given the wrong address once. This is the second address we've been given. And this is what the place looks like. It doesn't inspire me with complete confidence. We could probably 60, 70 grand's worth of stuff on the truck. And just don't have a good feeling about it. 
Nobody speaks English. Not sure what to do with it, really. Don't want to drop it in the wrong hands when it's uh, so badly needed by the people of Ukraine. I guess it's just a game of trust. You just have to trust these people. It's just all that gear in there, look. Well, it looks like somebody's already dropped some in here, so I guess we'll have to too. Smile. <laughs> anyway. Looks like we've got to get rid of it here. Which I'm not 100% happy about. Anyway. We'll be back. Well, they're taking our stuff, for better or for worse. <laughs> Hope it goes where it's needed. Sure it will. Sent a picture of this place to my son. He said, are you sure you're not in Beirut? <laughs> well, I'm not sure really. Not that I've ever been to Beirut, but I'm sure it looked like this at one time. <laughs> yeah. Hi everybody, that's uh, been following us on our trip to, uh, to the Ukraine border. Um, we're home, it's Friday the 25th, we got home this morning. Um, and I'm doing this little video to uh, thank everybody that supported us with uh, financial donations, um, material things, um, spiritual support, and God knows what else. But we wouldn't have been able to do it without all that help. Um, my son Sam here, who's uh, who's filming this now, he, he did as much as anybody towards the preparation of it. And uh, I thank him. Thanks to a big thanks goes out to the owner of this truck, Ben Redford, who we sold it to a month or so ago and borrowed it back. And uh, yeah, a, a, a big up to him because uh, he he did us proud. Um, we had support from people like Phil Dyke from Heavy Hall, um, great, and uh, Tony Callum from BT Callum and Sons. He helped us out with the trailer and uh, lots of financial contributions, so much so that um, we ran all the way down there, all the way back, and we've probably got enough left over to do it all again. Um, and that's what we might do. If we don't, um, I shall see to it that every penny of that money goes to um, a Ukraine charity, but I would much rather put it into another trip so um, I will keep everybody posted on what is happening with that, uh, the trip or the money because it's important and uh, I want to make sure it all gets uh, to the right place but um, yeah that's it really thanks for everything from everybody and uh, thanks for, for following us those of you that did and showed an interest in our trip and um, <laughs> we enjoyed it. Uh, it's back to work now so we'll keep you posted on the next trip. Bye.